Hello children and welcome to this week's Sunday Club. This week we're going to be looking at the story of Noah. Look out for me later, you may see me in one of the videos. Children of the Lord. The animals, the animals, they went in by twos, twos, the animals, the animals, they went in by twos, twos, elephant and kangaroos, the moosey children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Long time has gone since Adam and Eve were created and they've been living in the world and they've been now lots and lots of people. But one unfortunate thing, people living on earth were really mean, wicked and nasty to each other. This made God really sad. So he looked around the world to find if there was anyone who was good that he could start the world all over with again. Then he saw Noah and he said, Noah has been good and kind and he's a good man. So he was going to start the world again with Noah. So he told Noah, build an ark. And in that ark was to be Noah's family, himself, his wife, and his three children. And the three children were men so, and their wives. So God told Noah that he has to bring in all the animals in the world two by two crawling animals, the creeping animals, the walking animals, the flying animals. He had to bring every single one of them into the ark. And so he told Noah to start building. Noah being the obedient man he was, started building the ark. It took him years and years. He built the ark with the help of his wife and his sons and his son's wife. So they built a lovely big ark. So, Mr. Noah, what are you actually doing? I'm building a boat. Uh, so it's a really sunny, hot day and we haven't had any rain for a very long time. And we're not near any water. So why are you building a boat? Because God told me to build it. And they build it exactly how God has told him how tall, wide and deep the ark was to be. When he finished, God sent all the animals to come into the ark two by two. The snake slid it in. The slug came in slowly and slid it in. The big elephant trumpeted and thumped his way into the ark. The lion roared his way in. The eagles flew into the ark. The doves, the pigeons, the blackbirds, they all got in. Every single animal you could think of. The ones that flew, the ones that walked, the ones that slithered, the ones that crawled, they all got in to the ark. When every single animal had got in, God shut the door. And as he told Noah, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights and the whole earth got flooded. Every living thing on earth died. Every single one, except Noah and all the animals in the ark. And they stayed in the ark for a whole year. A bit like lockdown really, when we were not allowed out of the houses to keep ourselves safe. God kept Noah and all the animals in that ark for a whole year. Because God had told him what to do. There was enough food, enough water, enough 
everything they needed was in the ark. And while they were in the ark, regularly, Noah would send out a dove to go and check how low the water has gone. And the dove always came back because there was nowhere for him to land. Until one day, the dove flew out, he came back with a twig in its mouth. And then no one knew that the water stood up being right up, had gone all the way down and low enough for them to come out of the ark. And all the animals came out two by two. And all the human and the all the people in the ark came out. They were Noah, his wife, his three sons and their wives. They all came out and they started life again. And God was so sad to have destroyed the whole earth and all the living things in it. He said, Noah, I promise you that I won't do this again. I won't destroy the earth again. And you will know that I won't destroy the earth again because I'm sending you a rainbow. And the rainbow will be a sign of promise between you and every human being on earth and me god to let you know that i won't destroy the earth again so each time we look up in the sky when there's a rainbow remember god's promise to not destroy human race again but that also gives us the responsibility that we should obey god's laws do what we've been what the bible says we should do Listen to our parents because that helps us to remember God's laws and obey them. Hello children, for this week's craft we need a piece of paper, a bowl and some felty pens. First of all, take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Way. Make sure it's equal. There you go. Two equal sides. On the folded side, place your bowl halfway. So you have a semicircle, like half a circle, the first one. So you go round your bowl. Do as carefully as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't go through. Just make sure completely you can see it there you go now you open it up and you turn it upside down so you have your rainbow up and you take the plain side fold it in half not quite half actually you make like a sequin there a pleat, keep folding it, and one more fold, so you have that fan type shape, that way, your rainbow can stand, you turn that, keep that folded, and then you do your rainbow colors, I think it starts with red, that's not red. I would actually draw my arch first in black felt pen. As many arches as I like. Generally people draw seven. I like to be a bit more. There you go. Yeah. At the top here. You write Genesis 9 verse 12. So we start with the colors of the rainbow. 
Come on. Yellow. Oh, you have to choose the colors. Orange. And orange, just red, orange, yellow, green. See if I go green here. Yeah. yeah, green. The lilac. Your coloring will be much nicer than mine. Keep it over and when you finish coloring it in, you can decorate the border. I like to draw nice border around it. Well, not so nice. Maybe you can have some cloud. Or you can stick it on your door. They can stand, and that's it. God said, This is the sign of covenant I am making between me as God and you, that's us human beings, and every living creature with you, that's all the animals that went into the Noah's Ark. A covenant for all generations to come. So each time you see the rainbow, you know, when God told Noah to make the ark. He promised all human beings and all the creatures that were in the ark that when they see the rainbow, he will never destroy the world again with rain or flood. So we can always remember that as God's promise. And God has so many other promises for us in the Bible. And that's like, he's always with us. I have chosen you to bear fruit. I will give you rest. We are saved. God guides our life and we are children of God. So many more promises from God's word. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. There was a time back in time when nobody was doing right. They were lost and telling lies. You could say, no one knew God, no one loved God, no one was God's friend. You could say, no one knew God, no one loved God, no one was God's friend. But there was a man, such a man, the only one in the land who had the guts to take a stand and follow a different plan. You could say, no one knew God, no one loved God, no one was God's friend. You could say, no one knew God, no one loved God, no one was God's friend. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. God said, build me an ark and fill it with things that jump and crawl and fly and then it's going to rain for 40 days it's going to rain for 40 nights 
the earth is going to have a brand new star just you wait and see is going to start with you again because of your love for me all because no one knew god no Hello children, our story today talks about how God made a covenant with Noah. Now a covenant is simply a promise and we can trust God to keep his promises. He will never ever break a promise to us. Many years ago he put a beautiful rainbow in the sky as a promise to Noah that never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth and that promise still stands today we still see rainbows in the sky and isn't that wonderful to know that he made this promise so long ago but it still stands for us today so we can trust God when he makes his promises he will never break them hello children let us pray Let's put those hands together and close our eyes. Heavenly Father, you made heaven, earth, and the sea, and everything that is in them. You keep your promises forever. As the rainbow signifies your covenant, that is your promise to us as living creatures on this earth, we, as your children, promise to obey, believe, and have faith in you and your teachings. Because we know, as your children, we can ask you for anything, and you will grant it, as long as it is in line with your will. Amen. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Don't forget, God's always with you. Bye.